Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? And if you're a fan of another team, welcome to this channel. Yankees fans and MLB fans, let's talk about the approach the Yankees are taking via the trade market. Via really ignoring the free agency market. And I get tweets, I get um, questions here and there saying, Oh, but no team has signed anybody via free agency. Oh, yeah, but um, the excitement, the intrigue, the anticipation is there. For an example, I say Phillies fan. What do you guys think of the offseason? Oh, we're going to get Harper. We're going to get Machado. We're even going to try to trade for Stanton at this point. The excitement is there. Doesn't mean that the excitement over at the Yankee side isn't there, but they have shown that they rather stay under the luxury tax and get their answers via trade. I mean, it's obvious what they're doing at this point. So I don't know where people are getting that the Yankees could add a Harper and Machado with Stanton on this ball club. Please show me where there's evidence of that. Because there's a lot of people that are leaving me comments trying to insult me in a kindergarten lingo. The typical, you're stupid. Uh, other people are better than you. Um, just throwing a fit because they're crybabies. They don't have the patience to wait till winter meetings. Those are, so there's a lot of people leaving me comments saying that um, Stanton being on the trade block is fake news when the same guy, Nick Cofuardo, is the guy that originally had inside information that Stanton was going to be traded to the New York Yankees. This time around, he has inside information confirming that the Yankees do want to trade Stanton this offseason. Hey, you could believe it or not. You could throw fits like little kids. I don't care. I am not the one that put out that information. Jesus Christ, do your own investigative uh, research. Find out who put it out. It wasn't Nesson. It wasn't me. It was Nick Conforto, the same guy that had inside information that Stanton was going to be traded to the New York Yankees last season. So I can't take his writings with a grain of salt. He is an established writer. He is well-respected. He works for the Boston Globe. The Boston Globe is similar to the NY Times. They have their fingers everywhere, international, etc. It's not like your local newspaper. It's not like the NY Daily News. It's not like the NY Post. The Boston Globe is not fake news because it has Boston in it. Just because you hate the Boston Red Sox doesn't mean... That a writer from Boston, if he puts out something about the Yankees, it's automatically fake. When he has a track record of being proven right, maybe, let's say, 90% of the time. So, as you can see, the Yankees attempted to trade for Gene Segura. The Yankees attempted to trade for Paul Goldschmidt. What does this mean? This means that the Yankees, like I keep saying on this channel, want to stay under the luxury tax. It's obvious that they do. And do you blame them? People might say no. But if you're a Yankees fan anticipating 2019, you're scratching your head and asking yourself, wasn't this the offseason that the Yankees were going to spend? It's still in your hands, Yankees fans. All you got to do is call into a sports radio shows like the Michael K Show, Mike Francesa, etc. and bring up this point. Segura, we all know he's a shortstop. Who's available via free agency? Manny Machado, shortstop. They acquire him. Manny Machado is going to play shortstop till uh, DD comes back. Bryce Harper, first base. Paul Goldschmidt, first base. See what the Yankees are doing here, folks? They are taking their chances first with the trade market. And in my opinion, they're not going to stop. In my opinion, this week they are going to acquire an infielder who is automatically going to exile either Machado or Harper. As you can see, the Yankees are juggling between. Hmm, should we upgrade first base or get a shortstop? So it doesn't mean that they're going to get a replacement for Harper and Machado. It means that they are targeting one specific player that they are going to acquire via free agency. And the Yankees have let it be known that they do not feel comfortable with Greg Bird and Luke Boyd. So this means Bryce Harper, yet again, is very possible. And then again, folks, if you're not paying attention, Stanton cannot be on his team at the same time as Manny Machado or Harper. 
Look at what the Yankees are doing. It's common sense. Don't get it mad at me. Get mad at the Yankees. Call into sports radio shows, like I said. Raise the issue. 2019, you were supposed to go over the luxury tax. You're not putting out the signs that you are. So in my honest opinion, expect the trade talks for Stanton to pick up in media and it just explode before the winter meetings, okay? Because the Yankees, it's obvious that the Yankees want to sign either a Harper or Machado. And they are going to replace one of these two via trades. They're, in my opinion, they are going to pick up a shortstop or a second baseman. If they pick up a second baseman, you plug Torres at shortstop. That's what I see the Yankees doing. So Maney at $35 million a year. Segura at $14 million a year. Harper at $35 million a year. Goldschmidt at $14 million a year, and he is a rental. Wow, you see that? The Yankees are considering ditching their plans to sign players via free agency and target a rental like Goldschmidt. So a player like Scooter Jeanette is not out of the question because the Yankees have confirmed that they are willing to trade for a rental. And not only that, they were willing to give up Justice Sheffield for a rental. So you can see by this graphic that the Yankees prefer to save money. And like I said in my previous video, do you blame them? It's a great business model. I don't blame them. Maybe they could get even better players via trade. But like I said, when you promise the Yankees fans or make it seem that you are going all out in 2019 and you're not, people are going to be upset. People are going to throw temper tantrums. Like I said, it's in the hands of the Yankees fans. Do what you got to do. Make it a point. Call into all these sports radio shows. Make YouTube videos. Make it a point. Because like I said, if you don't, the Yankees are going to do this for the next 5 to 10 years. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you see the Yankees taking this approach of staying under the luxury tax? Or do you see them spending big in 2019? You guys already know my opinion. Leave yours in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.